I, I've been I've been putting myself out there for this country. Something I didn't have to do, you know, getting dirty out in the field, you know, carrying tons of weights on my back, and I'm a scr scrawny little guy, you know, putting my life out on there, um, and I'm doing all this, you know, just just you know, all all I ask in the return is, you know. Laundry. You're you're in a Hester program. You're you're in yeshiva right now. It's part of the army. You're in yeshiva. It's part of, it's part of my army service. I don't understand. Yeah, me neither. I I really don't understand. You're sitting you're sitting down for ten hours a day learning Torah. That's not out there on the the fronts. Like oh yeah, you know. You should you should be called a yeshiva bodid. That's really what you are right now. You're you're alone in the yeshiva guy, and they're even giving you meals in yeshiva. You're I mean, you're trying. It sounds like you're trying to scam. I wouldn't say that. You know, I'm I, I'm still in yeshiva all week, and I still come home. Yeah. You know, like and most and, students, and it's student. hard. It's not an easy thing in yeshiva. What to sit? I mean, are you are you are you the guy on the front over there doing doing shmirah? Is that was that your job in the army? Because if your job was just sitting down there doing guard duty for ten hours a day in the army, then honestly, you don't deserve a Bodet family. How many garnim are you eating? Is that what the country's giving you? Because honestly, I, I want to redefine this relation. I want to I want a real chayal Bodet who's who's out there like sitting in a tank. What Gemara are you learning? Yevamot. Yevamot? You're learning about dead husbands? It's a lot about families, which is, you know, kind of what you are to me, you know? If something, God forbid, were to happen to you, I'd be getting, you know, whatever whatever you leave for your nieces and nephews. Cause no, you wouldn't, because you're both a, you're not a real nephew. This isn't a, a a plan for the rest of your life. Like next, you're gonna you're gonna be an Oved Bodade. You know, you're gonna have your job, a Mitzui Bodade, and and your whole life you're gonna have this plan that people are gonna do laundry for you. It's it's not an easy easy thing to do. You know, it takes a real serious kind of person, and that's why I think you can you could do my laundry for me. Maybe you should get yourself a Isha Bodade. Asked about her, and they said, What do you mean? She's in Israel too. Call her, please, my team.